Hi, this is Julia Waldorf, juliawaldorf.com, and I have David Smallwood here with ReSafe, and he spoke at our MLS breakfast this morning. And uh, David, what did you talk about? What's ReSafe all about? Well, ReSafe is stands for Real Estate Scam and Fraud Unit, or Fra Fraud Exposure Unit. Okay. And um, we are uh, we're a group of people that have come together to try to protect the county residents from real estate fraud. Okay, and what's the, the most common real estate fraud out there? Well, uh, first the old scam, uh, which is kind of dying out now, was uh, uh, give us $4,000 and we'll get you a home modification. Uh, for people that are underwater, uh -huh. they, they want a loan mod. Yeah. Um, you know, that was a scam. So they take their moving money and, and scam them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and that's one True. scam. And yeah. there's, there's, there's so many of them I couldn't begin to tell you, but we're established to try to ferret these people out, mm -hmm. find them, expose them, um, prevent, detect, and report. That's what we want to do. Well, you said in the meeting this morning the most common fraud there is in what you read was um, with people buying and selling property. Yeah. So, wow. Well, fraud fraud usually occurs usually with uh, written instruments, and when you buy and sell property, you're using a lot of different documents to sign. Uh -huh. And some people just don't know what they're signing. They mm -hmm. don't take the time to read it. Uh -huh. They don't get a second opinion uh -huh. like you do with doctors. Uh -huh. So consequently, um, it's something that uh, people make a mistake. Mm -hmm. They're not careful, mm -hmm. and the evil people take advantage of that. Well, so if someone comes into your life and wants you to sign something dealing with lots of money, and it's your property, then you really should get a second opinion. Always, always. Yeah. Call, call up somebody, especially a trusted relative or friend. Yeah. Uh, call them into it and say, I'm just not sure if I'm doing the right thing. Do not sign it. Don't let anyone pressure you into signing something right then and there. Tell yeah. people, I want to sleep on it, I'll have this for you, I want to keep it during the weekend and give it to you on Monday. Um, don't sign anything mm -hmm. until you get it uh, looked at by somebody else you know and trust. Yeah, and if they don't let you keep the paperwork, that's a good sign that it's fraud. That is one of the warning signs. Yeah. That's a red flag. Yeah. If they won't let you keep the paperwork, if they try to pressure you into saying that, well, if you don't sign today, the interest rates are going to go up. Yeah. Uh, you know, any any reason. Yeah. Uh, they try to pressure you into signing right away. Yeah. That is a warning flag. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, it can wait. It yeah. can wait. Yeah, you should never be in a big hurry to, to, to sell something with lots of money or buy something with lots of money, I That's say. Right. That's <laughs> right. Never be in a hurry. Yeah, unless it feels right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So, all right. Well, thank you, David. You're great and you're a good speaker today and I really enjoyed it. <laughs> so. Thank you. All right. What's your contact information? Well, you can uh, get a hold of us through the district attorney's office uh -huh. if you want. Or uh, right now we're getting that information together, uh, a good phone number, and our website's being developed. We're okay. relatively brand new okay. <laughs> organization. So the um, uh, best but way to do it is to get a hold of the local real estate board and tell them that you want to speak to a ReSafe member. There we go. That would be the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Okay, well, thank you so much, and have a great day. You too. Bye. Julia Waldorf, JuliaWaldorf.com. Ciao, ciao.